Hi there, we're going to talk a little bit about a couple of tips in Adobe Premiere Pro. One is this. I'm over in my uh, project area and I have my clips here. I'm going to hit the tilde key above my tab key so I can see my bin here or I can see all my items in my project panel. But you'll notice I have a couple of items up here that are actually in black because they faded up from black. These are a couple of old commercials. I'm going to come down to the lower left corner here and I'm going to drag on a little slider and I'm going to make these uh, icons a little bit bigger. So these thumbnails, I'm going to come over here to this commercial here and notice as I hover over it, it hover scrubs. You're probably aware of that. Also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and that's going to give me a little playhead here so I can go through and scrub through this video commercial here from 1958. And I'm going to say I want to find a frame that represents this commercial. Now the first frame is black because it fades up from black. But when I view in my project panel, this is the thumbnail I get. But what I want to do is I want to show you that if I move this around and slide it to, let's say, here. And I have this little uh, still frame of speedy Alka-Seltzer here. I'm going to use this as my poster frame for my video. So when I view this in my project area, this is the scene I will see. So I'm going to right click on it. And I'm going to come down. And I'm going to set poster frame. So now when I hit the tilde key to go back and I look at my items here in my project panel, the thumbnail or the poster frame for this video is going to be this little speedy Alka-Seltzer. So that helps me know what this video is about by changing the poster frame. Now here's another thing I want to show you. When I'm working in Premiere here and I want to edit something together, I have dual screens. So I found out that I can go up under Premiere Pro on the Macintosh down to Preferences. And if you're on Windows, go to Edit Preferences and come on down to playback. What you're going to see in the middle here is there's a video device area and it's listing my two monitors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a check mark here by my monitor 2 and I'm going to click OK. Now in a few seconds Premiere is going to figure out that I have two monitors here in fact, let me go back to Premiere Pro. Sometimes I have to do this twice to playback. And now if you look over on my second monitor, I have playback of what's coming from my monitor. So I'm going to cancel on this. So sometimes I have to do it twice to trigger it. So now I can use my second monitor as my primary output monitor so I can actually work on edits and see it on a big screen. So I want you to know there's a nice way if you have two monitors that you can go ahead and set up the second monitor to output the program monitor over on a second screen. Thank you very much for joining us and we'll catch up with you a little bit later.